So in this video, I want to show you two ways to host your meditations. Hosting means where will your meditation live? So once you record a meditation, probably you wanted to record it for yourself, uh, but at some point you changed your mind and now you want to, to share it with the world. That's one case. The other is when you want to share it with a client or with a student and or when you just want to share it with the world right so i started sharing my recording and sharing my meditations a couple of months ago because i wanted to more people to access to that and also after some of my workshops because i normally do offline in-person workshops after them some of some of my students ask like where can i get this because they wanted to keep on practicing by themselves so i was like okay i i needed to find a way so that they can access to it and these ways that i will share with you i will share my screen these two ways are for free and you can also set them uh, for public or if you want to set them just for unlisted or for certain people actually if it's only about sending it to one person i just recommend recording it with your microphone or more professional microphone and just sharing it on whatsapp but if you want to have more access or more reach then i recommend these um, ways that i will just share now so one of the ways is to actually upload it to spotify i personally started um, a podcast on spotify uh, and I thought it would be about information I will share and talking and that's how I started my podcast that it's called mindfulness practices but with the time I noticed that to be honest I prefer to upload here my visualizations and my meditations instead and use YouTube as a channel where I teach because I like to show so much information like this video that it's about sharing my screen but and Spotify which is only audio was probably not enough for my teaching purposes but I wanted to keep on sharing my meditations here and the quality of the audio is really good and also for some people they want to listen the meditation and then go to bed so then what they do is that they just play it and then they just set like um sleeping mode so after the meditation it stops and then they can um, go to bed right so i started using spotify not only as a way uh, to record podcasts but to record my meditations here um, I personally record my meditations on my Mac, so on GarageBand. I have another video for that, I will link it here. But when it's time for hosting, I use uh, Spotify and Apple Podcast. And how I upload it here is on Anchor. So it's called Anchor. This is made by Spotify. And then you can go here to new episode, quick upload. And then you choose the meditation that you want podcast recording then i can just uh, let's say attach my meditation and then it will require some information from you and uh, i might not do it right now because uh, i don't want to upload anything right now so basically it would look like um so like these and then you need a title, you need a description, and then you can just publish it. And if your anchor is connected to your Spotify and to your Apple podcast, every time that you push publish, it's going to go to both sides. So you don't have to do it twice. And the final product, let's say, it's going to look like this. It's going to look like yeah, here's the name that you added on Anchor. Here's the description that you added. You can always add what is the meditation for. I added here that uh, in this case, it was a meditation for overthinking, remover, removing um, um, intrusive thoughts and getting perspective, etc. So this was one way that I host a meditation. This is public and you can always share the link 
uh, copy episode link with your students or with your clients and it's going to be here and also be, will be here for everyone so everyone can have who have access to Spotify or Apple Podcasts will have access to this one. Anchor is free, it lets you host for free, okay? And, and the other option that it's also for free, and in this case, um, you can actually add it as public or unlisted, is to upload your meditations to YouTube. So in my case, I, um, I have my meditations here and it's, I, I created a YouTube account and then I recorded my meditation and you can check also my video about how to record a meditation and then upload it to YouTube because you need to make an mp4 out of the mp3 so YouTube only allows you to upload something that has also an image so you will need to create your cover photo on Canva and then you mix it with your audio and that's what you can publish on YouTube so once you publish that on YouTube, uh, you can also choose if you want the video to be unlisted or if you want it to be public. Unlisted, um, it's like it's not showing for everyone, just uh, accessible with the link. So it's up to you how you want to share it. And this is another way of hosting your meditation. So these are the two ways I usually um, use. I hope that they are useful and let me know if you have any other questions.